It's a sub. Well, I won't say <laughs> In my opinion, what we just witnessed, again, the incompetence of Andy Long, referee Andy Long. I don't care about the wrestlers. Andy Long, you were incompetent on that. Watch for the foot in the rope. It's what you do, and that's your job. You should scout that out. Watch tapes. Oh, I study my craft. I saw a guy put his foot in the ropes. I'm always going to check for that. And you didn't. And it was a miscarriage of justice. I think a foot in the rope was great. He got away with it. But how could you, how could you go home and you know, winning that match and be like, yeah, I beat him. But you know you did it because you had your foot on the rope. Don't get yeah. so overly emotional I'm just that. saying. I'm just saying. Doesn't matter. You got to do what you got to do to take care of business. You get the Patriots, big w at Patriots the end. cheated and got all the way to the Super Bowl, and then they got their butts handed to them. They cheated. You think they cheated? Patriots? Yeah, yeah. Really? No. They got caught. Wow. It was the coach that got caught, not the players. My God. I don't know. All right. My goodness. Football? What is this football? You guys are talking about the sport. This oh, is stepping like, stone to wrestling. Like football. I'm it's sorry. Kind of <laughs> football? Yeah. Well, our next soccer? segment, our next segment uh, sorry, if it's not coming up. Squared circle. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's going to be with Virgil from the World of Wheels. Um, around here. The, hill, the hillbilly was out there. and uh, What are you doing? It's from what I, from what I understand, it was pretty entertaining, I guess. We haven't seen it, so everybody will see rub, it for the first rub, time. Rub. Yes, this uh, segment here. Uh, actually, everybody knows, you know, the superstar that Virgil is. So I kind of just uh, had a little fun with him, and just basically uh, acted like I knew nothing about wrestling, and just let him talk out of the side of his neck. It was hilarious. All right. Granted, All right. there was only like three or four people that like came by his table. Well, that was probably why he was so mad. Is that he, you know? Former Did superstar. you guys see those tumbleweeds across the table there? Exactly. Yeah. I used to be the guy that stood there and held $100 bills and gave them to kids so they'd get out of the pool and stuff. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, let's, get, let's see this. This is probably hilarious. <laughs> it, it is. It's something else. As a matter of fact, it was the same day uh, with the World of Wheels out there in Chicago. World of Wheels! That's wheels, right. Wheels. It was awesome, man. I'm telling you. They had a BMX stunt bike show. They had uh, this band called... Uh, and you love that Rose. stuff. You love the world of wheels and the big trucks and the stuff. And the motorcycles. Oh, you God, love yeah. them. Oh, yeah, man. It's, you know, it, it's like a hillbilly dream there. Man. Yeah, all right. All right. Give me a double wide trailer, I'd have been in heaven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> On the mat each week, folks. This is the guy yeah. running it. Yeah, all right. that's it. I don't know why, but, you know, I do. <laughs> all, all we right. need is a horse. <laughs> We're gonna, we, can, we, can we see this now? I'm excited. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we'll get it. Matter, matter of fact, you want me to go into the control room and go ahead and get it started? Is it? Come on. Yeah. Yes. I can't. All right. All right. I'll, all right. I'll be right back. Nicholas H. on his way to the control room to get something started here. All right. Here and on the mat. Virgil. What about it, Trevor? You ever work, Virgil? Does Virgil work? He's still not talking to oh, you. Oh, here we go. Uh, when were you, like, in wrestling? I mean, just, I mean well, I'm not a wrestling guy. Okay, okay, I don't know. Exactly the I same as he did years ago. In boring. 1986. In 86. I'm 19 years old. I sold out to Chicago Stadium. Chicago Stadium. And yeah, uh, who? Okay. And what promotion was that? That was the WWF. That was the WWF. Yeah, called the World Wrestling Federation. Okay. Now it's called World Wrestling Federation. I was going to ask you that. That's WWE now? Yeah, yeah, right. Now, Same thing, man. Okay. Now, now I, I see, you know, I've heard, like, over the intercoms and all that, WCW and right. things like that. Now, yeah, I, stayed, I stayed with WWF for 14 years. 14 years. 14 grueling years, right. And then I signed a big contract in 1997, uh, eight-year contract with WCW, World Championship Wrestling. And I went there and, for and, and, uh, of course, they're not around anymore. You know, by Ted Turner, I don't care who they're around. I had a big contract uh, called yeah, right. Little Cut. You know what Little Cut is? Uh, no. When the company grows up, then you still get paid. Really? Right, so I stayed at home and collect that money uh -huh. every year. Oh, so now, are, are you still wrestling here no, and there? No, no, I couldn't find the most one to pay me that money, I was thinking. Wow, now I guess, you know... So if you want to pay it, 1.3 mil? 1.3 mil for you to do, what, work a match? I think, was it, is no. that what they call it, work a, a match? It's called a year. Uh, a year? Yeah, how much you make a year? Oh, uh, me? No, nowhere, no, 1.3 okay. million, but... Well, you run now, the camera, so... Well, see, I, I, I do video work and things like that, and, okay. just, you know, I have video, will, the camera will travel, but... Okay. Now, I, I see you're there with, you know, these guys here now... Uh, I tell you, right, now this you got, is. You got, you, got two uh, more, you got two more minutes, man. Uh, two more minutes. Two more minutes. Right. Let's have a second. Basically, now, who who are these guys? Okay, okay, now, that's Ted DiBiase. Right Ted DiBiase, right see? All right. Okay, that's Roddy Piper. That's British Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. That's Bret Hart. That's myself. Oh, wow. That's myself. That's Andre the Giants. 
Now, that, he was like that seven foot four guy, no, right? Seven foot six and a half. Dude. Really? Oh my God. That's Ted DiBiase. That's me and Ted DiBiase. That's me at Daytona 500. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, now interview's over. It's over. Yep. Well, sir, thank you very much for your time. Okay. And I hope uh, everything kind of works out for you, sir. You, know, you have a good day. Okay. <laughs> How good, Virgil? How good, they, Virgil? Look, take a look at you. And not, like, who's this crazy white guy? The like, only thing he... I hope happens is that you work a show with him and he remembers you and he beats the hell out of you. Does he still work? Does he, <laughs> he, do you say, hey, he ain't gonna work. If he's sitting at home collecting what? I think that was one of the greatest million? works there was. What are you doing? What are you doing working the convention circuit? Sit at home and count your money for doing nothing. <laughs> are you crazy? Why even go out there? Why even go out there with that kind of money? Why don't you just start your own company and book yourself at the top? You have all these great stories and you brush shoulders with greatness all the time. But what are you doing now? It's a joke. Stay home and count your money. That's what I do. He's Instead, getting worked by Nick H. That's what he's doing now. But that was great. I, I got to say, that was great. great. Props to you, Nick H. I didn't know you had it in you. That was good. That was good. I he can't even, more he can't even yeah. Nick H. can't even talk for himself, but he can suddenly pull off a character that knows nothing about wrestling. You know what, Nick H.? <laughs> I rest. I manage the best, and uh, if you ever look to get into the pro business, well, I, I get into try, the I, ring. I was actually trying to make a good first impression, you know, at you know, at the Lucha Show. I mean, because it was my debut there, I wanted it to be great, and I wanted it to, you know, and of course it was great because I had great Malachi, you know, infusion there. So it's like infusion. I'm just trying to make a good impression, you know. What I mean, because you know, this hillbilly boy, you know. What I mean? Yeah, I, I work. You know, he looks, it's still I'm sure if he got a pair of knee pants, that would help too. How do you I, not know Xavier? You know what? Because I was so worried and so nervous because I was getting right. so many. As soon as I got into the ring, you hear all them people whistle at me. I got a little nervous. I almost he's felt mentioned violated. this like five times tonight. So this yeah. is a bit. This is maybe, a bit maybe it was the tight pants you were wearing that day. No, I, I actually no. They're I mean, not tight pants. They're called ill-fitting pants. Is what they are. <laughs> oh, they're nice. they're low rides. <laughs> nice. Uh, I would slip this note to mention the Battle of the Belts 20-year reunion. 20, 20 years. years, 20 years of Battle of the Belts. It's a big deal. Two decades. This is in May. Go to WCPW.com. And what's this? And then for more info, go to POWentertainment.com. Oh, that's two separate things. Oh, yeah. For more info on POW, <laughs> go to POWentertainment.com. But, yeah, Windy City, 20 years of Battle of the Belts. We had Sam on here, and I asked him why it was called Battle of the Belts. Because I always wanted to know, and he told me it was like Battle of the Bands. And it was, but, it, but wrestling. But wrestling. Yes. So good. And actually, with WCPW, you should check out their web aggression show. It comes up onto the Chicago Pro Wrestling uh, you know, board all the time. Uh, the web aggression, you've got to check it out. It's really uh, top-notch stuff for an Hosted by our, show. our very own Richard T. Sin, who unfortunately is not here tonight. Look, I think he knew that Trevor was going to be mad. and you know, Richard T. Sin was the last one to leave the studio with Trevor tied to the table. Yeah, Trevor. So maybe, you know. I didn't even know you. I thought he was going to untie you. I went out to get some water. That was it. Water. <laughs> water. Water. Well, coming up, our uh, classic match of the week. Terry Taylor and Sam Houston taking on... Uh, no, no. Or Terry no. Taylor and Chris Adams taking on Sam Houston and Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. Wow, we've come full circle. From the UWF. And this is before he even knew, knew Virgil. who Virgil was. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he Vincent? See? Hold up. Virgil, I'm calling you out on this because the last thing you did in your career is you were Vincent. You were Vincent, right? He didn't go back to the WWE to do another Virgil run. So why does it say Virgil? The WWE wrestling superstar. Because he's capitalizing off that. And Virgil, wasn't that a rib on uh, Dusty Rhodes? I think so. And so wasn't Vincent a rib on, obviously, Vince McMahon? Did you know... You're that soulless, man! You made a life and career and millions of dollars! I'd have just ribbon on other people's knees. Well, well why, if he's making that kind of money, why is he selling his pictures for 25 bucks a pop? Because he's greedy. Because <laughs> you're greedy! Greed. I'm I, telling you. He bleeds green. I, I'm not lying. $25 for a picture. I just, I just think you're greedy. That's all. It's inflation nowadays, But man. hey, you made more money last year than I did sitting at home doing nothing. <laughs> You probably would have charged like 300 bucks to come out to one of these things, and I drove in the uphill both ways in the snow and the freezing weather for free. That's because you don't bite anybody else's name, buddy. And that's a good wow. thing. Wow. But I'm broke. You need to start ribbing somebody else's name. I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to call me next week the debut of Mantor. Mantor? Mantor. <laughs> you, you need, you need a, a name with greatness. As long as he doesn't hear it. Mantor. Hey. You don't like Mantor? Mantor? No. Oh. You look more like Kramer. Oh. Yeah, Kramer. <laughs> Kramer on a bad or good hair day. 
Probably good. Probably good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I We're going with good. I this like one. the last time Greg Malachi was here, he was all over Kimberly Cash and it was hilarious. Now he doesn't like me. Now Trevor's mad at me. I didn't say I like you. I love Kramer. Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go to this classic tag match? Is that what we've got? Yeah, a classic tag. Hey, I'm out here, so basically... Oh, so we're not, we're not getting a... What? I don't know what's going on over there. Soon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Soon we're going to go to that see, tag match. see how... Hey, I, what happens when I leave the control room? Yeah. Mayhem. That's why I'm I see what happens when you're in the control room. So either way, it's like... Mayhem happens. It's a cluster. Oh, my God. It's man. a cluster. Richard T. Sin, where a matter of fact, I should take the... Head off Trevor and throw it at his camera. Richard T. Sin, where are you? I'm yeah. begging for the return of Richard T. Sin. Where is you Richard? You were doing T. that. You know, a All right, well, too, you know right? what? We're getting to wrap up uh, oh. a small tornado. Let's uh, go to this match, match, uh, classic match of the week, UWF. Yeah. It is a national date in many of the great cities around this land of ours. Right now, let's go down to Mike Wilson in our first event. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Waco, Texas, the 225 pounds, Sam Houston. Also introducing from Omaha, Nebraska, 260 pounds, Ted DiBiase. The introduction of Ted DiBiase and Sam Houston will see the appearance of Terry Taylor and gentleman Chris Adams momentarily. Also in this hour, we'll be telling you about the new UWF Training Center. If you gentlemen that would like to get involved in professional wrestling, get your paper and pencil handy because later in the hour we'll tell you all about the revolutionary Universal Wrestling Federation Training Center. We'll have that in the hour. We'll also hear something from Dr. S. Steve Williams as the tag team champions of the Universal Wrestling Federation enter the ring. And now introducing the current UWF Tag Team Champions from England at 233 pounds, gentlemen, Chris Adams. And from Vero Beach, Florida at 232 pounds, Terry Taylor. This match, one fall or 10 minute time limit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this should be a great one here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. Thank you very much for being with us. And we've got big news for the fans in Southern California. This Wednesday night in San Bernardino at the arena. This Friday night in the historic Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. One week from tonight in Irvine at the University of California at Irvine Brand Event Center. The bell sounds. And we'll tell you more about some other dates coming to the Midwest in the hour. It'll be Terry Taylor and Sam Houston starting it off for their respective teams. Hitting predicament by Sam Houston. Taylor kicks out. High cross body by Terry Taylor. What a collision between those two superbly conditioned athletes. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is, I think, very clearly for the top competitors in the world of professional wrestling today. Chris Adams and Terry Taylor comprising the Universal Wrestling Federation Tag Team Championship. They're a tremendous team. Many people have said they are the team of the future. Perhaps Ted DiBiase and Sam Houston will have something to say about that. An interesting situation here. We all know Ted DiBiase, a good friend of Terry Taylor. But they're both great competitors as DiBiase holds on, Taylor trying to free himself. But the master tactician Ted DiBiase holding on. I'll be talking with Ted about his world tour here next week on the program. Fireman's carry takeover by Terry Taylor. The tag was made. Gentleman Chris Adams comes in. They're working on the arm of Ted DiBiase. These four men are friends, but they're also professional athletes. This is how they earn their living. And they are competing here on the Universal Wrestling Federation. Great move, athletic move by Chris Adams and a drop kick to Ted DiBiase in a second one. Lateral press, the leg is cradled, count of one. Inside cradle by DiBiase, and Adams kicks out. The action is so quick. And so rapid, this is great competition. And where else but the Universal Wrestling Federation will you see athletes like Chris Adams and Ted DiBiase in the ring competing with each other. This is a main event caliber match, and we're bringing it to you right here on this great television station. Thank you very much for being with us. The tag was made. Sam Houston comes in using the second ropes for a little bit of leverage. 
The arm is barred. This match one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Great offensive maneuver there by Sam Houston. And now Houston with a wrist lock on Chris Adams. We'll have that information on the training center. The UWF training center, a first of its kind, sanctioned by a major wrestling federation. So get your paper and pencil handy for that announcement. We'll also see the Iceman coming in the hour. Jerry Taylor staying loose, staying very attentive in this match. This is a non-title match, but a very important match up here on national television. Universal Wrestling Federation now airing in over 100 cities in the United States. Houston trying to go for that takeover, and there is one way to, more than one way to skin the cat, as they say down in Waco, Texas, where Sam's from. Reversal by Adams, and Chris Adams shows his wrestling expertise. And another drop kick. And Houston almost went through that rope, and Adams, the tag was made. Started saying, I thought Adams had hurt himself there. Tackle by Ted DiBiase, former West Texas State athlete, and now Adams reverses Ted DiBiase, which doesn't happen too often. And now DiBiase countering gentleman Chris Adams, pinning predicament. Both men rapidly back up to their feet. And now Adams tagging in Terry Taylor. This is a match I personally have this particular matchup wanted to see for quite some time. Terry Taylor and Ted DiBiase, two of the great. Scientific athletes, scientific wrestling athletes in the sport. Two men that have been tag team partners on many, many occasions. Of course, Ted DiBiase, with what has seemed to become an obsession with winning the UWF Heavyweight Championship. DiBiase went to the well, it was dry, and Taylor capitalized on that tactical error on DiBiase's part with a perfectly executed neck breaker. And now, a body slam. Terry Taylor showing his offense, the knee drop right to the head, and that is a tough offensive maneuver. The leg is cradled. You almost wonder when someone's gonna lose their temper in this one. DiBiase with a flat of the foot, and that is a legal move. And now DiBiase slamming Terry Taylor. We don't know exactly how much time is left in this match, but the tag has been made to Sam Houston. With an elbow. They caught Taylor with a lot of velocity. We've got a couple of minutes left in this match. Both teams being kept abreast of the time. You can bet that the pace will quicken here if that is possible. Double elbow. The champions using some double teaming tactics. They're taking advantage of the count. There's a lot of pride involved here. Clothesline and a tremendous clothesline. And Houston landing right on his head at, as a result of that clothesline from Chris Adams and Adams with a headbutt. And it is getting aggressive in the squared circle. A kick out, count of two. Referee Carl Fergie down in a great position there. There's a tag. Terry Taylor with both feet right to the flat of the stomach. Controversial perhaps, but legal yes. Taylor with a reverse backbreaker, jamming the stomach right across the knee. And lateral press, I thought he had it right there. And I'm sure so did Terry Taylor. Now Taylor setting Houston for the pile driver. The champions pulling out the stop, but Houston has elevated Taylor, and in comes Ted DiBiase. It's DiBiase and Taylor, and time is running out in this one. There's a clothesline by DiBiase, and an elbow. He's going for the pin. As the seconds elapse here in this opening contest on the Universal Wrestling Federation, DiBiase goes for the leg and Taylor moves. DiBiase and Taylor competing as fiercely as we have seen them in any. We heard the announcement there, 60 seconds left in this one and counting. Lateral press, and DiBiase kicks out. This match has that all it has was filled to be. I was excited when I saw it signed. Now the lateral press by Taylor. And there's a 
count of two. DiBiase kicking out. Now Taylor dropped that knee pad. And Taylor went for the speed drop with a knee pad lowered. And DiBiase moves. And now DiBiase. Yes, he's setting it for the figure four. Taylor kicks out. Taylor also a proponent of a figure four leg lock. DiBiase spinning it. Taylor kicking out. DiBiase going back to that turnbuckle. Well, there you have it. Uh, time limit draw on the uh, classic match of the week. And you were, what, 37 at that time? You said earlier you remember that match. What year was that match again? 87? 87. You sure? 87. I could have sworn I saw a copyright date of 67. Four years old when that 67. match was going on. <laughs> I think Sam Houston would have still been in diapers in 67. So. A, a young Ted DiBiase, though. Okay. Well, we want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank you. Appreciate it, Malachi. Hopefully you uh, get better real soon, get back in the ring. Oh, he will. It's, it's nice meeting you. He does. He gives me foot rubs every day. Oh. I try. Oh. What's a manager to do? Manager of well, champions. Yeah. Um... Uh -oh. I, obviously, I've been real quiet. I, I've got a lot of stuff on my chest that I want to throw out. Um, with, within regards, two weeks ago, I was embarrassed. I was t duct taped to a chair while you guys stood and laughed your heads off, pointing at me, putting the toilet paper around me. I think that was your idea, Billy Wack. The only, the, only, well, the, only thing I'm the only thing I'm surprised is that you didn't wipe your butt for, first with it and You're then welcome. put it on You're me. You're welcome. You're welcome. I could have. Yeah. Okay, so. So. Does that mean you're, you're you guys, And you guys left me. I was here I, until 1 o'clock in the morning when finally somebody <laughs> from the cleaning crew heard me yelling. I can't believe you guys did that to me. We're supposed to be... I thought, he, I thought we were friends. And Richard, and Richard T. isn't here due to, due to the weather. And, and you know what? He needs to stop calling me and getting, and getting recipes for his marina in his kitchen. Because I'm tired of him calling me. Getting recipes, all right? That's done. <laughs> Nicholas H., what? I, you need I, to stop calling me and have at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning to bail you out because you won't take the window tint off your car. <laughs> okay? Uh, and Billy Wack... Right. No more. I'm, I'm not. I'm not driving you to Chicago on Lawrence Avenue to the Lam to the Lamore Bookstore, adult bookstore, dropping you off a block away. All right. I'll just have to take the bus. I, I'm, I'm, you can ride with me. I got tinted windows. It's a great place. They've got so much. You can get a tight magazine there. You can get those really? three packs. Oh. Yeah. So you can really? stock. So oh, you can stock awesome. up. Herky jerky. Oh my God. Trevor. Look, I what's that? This place again? You, what? You, you, if you make your bed, you're gonna have to lie into it. I just, like I said, I was laughing and it was funny. If the same thing happened to me, you'd be all over it. I guarantee. I would have untied you. I wouldn't have left you there. Oh, you, Richard T. you guys left me there. Or at least uh, gagged them so nobody. You can guys get left me there. I thought Richard T. Sin. He was the last. No. I, I was getting my toys and my books. I got a big bag over you there. You were going out to smoke. Well, you I were going out to smoke, and you said there. the hell with me. Well, there it is. Before Richard. Trevor, Richard T. Oh, in here. He's, he's walking Trevor. off. Hey. Malachi, thank you very much. Thank and you all you guys, guys again, thank you very much for coming out. Nice Friday seeing you again. It's always tonight. a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Fans, we will be back next week, hopefully, with Richard T. Sin, Billy Wack, Trevor Blanchard, if he's in a better mood, and, of course, myself behind the cameras this week, next week, whatever, you know, not more. Anyway, we're out of here. We'll see you next week. You want me to walk you out, Trevor? <laughs>